the new monthly awards that are going to come out today at 3 o'clock. Uh, the first one will be Felipe Rivero, closing pitcher for the Pittsburgh Pirates. Had a decent uh, month. He only held opponents to a 125 average in six saves with an ERA, a no ERA, and a whip of six up. 0 0.69 obviously you'll be able to see all this on the screen but uh very good stats for Felipe Rivero and I think he had a really good month so he deserves this card this card will be in the ticket counter for about 3,000 uh coins or I forgot what they do or tickets my bad so 3,000 tickets for a Felipe Rivero and he'll be in the ticket counter The next card, left fielder Chris Taylor. This is actually a really good card. So he's got 93 contact versus righties and 91 contact versus lefties. Mediocre power, but in 88 gold, uh, he could play second, third, shortstop, center field, and right field. Uh, he's a right-handed batter and right-handed thrower. This is actually a really good card. For He's like a utility guy, so this is a good card because, I mean, that contact is going to help anybody out. And with mediocre power, that ain't bad. Vision's only at 40, but discipline 50. And clutch at 70 so this is a good card potentially I uh, I like this card mostly because of the contact now the fielding obviously isn't all that great but if you play him in like the infield in that it's an alright card mostly I'd play him at second base because of the fielding I wouldn't play him at third because he could have bad throwing and I definitely wouldn't play him out in the outfield that, that it's just as the fielding attributes is aren't that good for him but you know the hitting is very good for Chris Taylor and this is a good card for uh, anywhere on the field, but mostly I'd play him at second. The next card will be a 92 overall Aaron Nola. Uh, he's a diamond. He's from the Phillies. Now this is I don't know about this card because his the best pitch he has is a curveball and then a fastball sinker. So you could really come at him with the curveball, maybe the first pitch, then a sinker, then a fastball, and then if you need another pitch, go to the changeup or use something else. I mean, that's not, those are not bad pitches, but like, I mean, his control is very good. The velocity is not, I mean, it's at 74, but the break is what I like about this card and the stamina as also. In the K-39, he's 86. He struck out 43 in 34 innings, so I do like this card. I'm not going to pick it up. I really don't need an Aaron Nola, but if I was anybody, I'd probably pick up this card, but yeah. The next card will be Tommy Fram, Fam from the St. Louis Cardinals. I'm a St. Louis Cardinal fan, and I don't like this card. Uh, he did do good this month, but I thought Paul DeYoung, rookie, he was rookie of the month. I thought he could have had a better card, and I think he would have been higher gold. But obviously, they didn't want him this, in this game as a high gold, and they want Tommy Fam. I like Tommy Fam, but I, I think Paul DeYoung deserves it more. Uh. Tommy Pham can play all around the uh, outfield. Uh, he's, he's got good contact all around. He's just got good numbers all around. His discipline's at 91. I like the power versus lefty, 93. Uh, 81 contact versus righties. The uh, contact versus lefties will be 76, and then power versus righties, 74. Everything else, the fielding, it, it, I think it's really low, and I think it should be higher than what it is, and that's just... San Diego not giving him what he you know what he deserves. Speed on the other hand, he's it's not bad. Seventy five speed and a fifty two stealing, which isn't bad. I think the stealing should be up a little bit more, but I'm not gonna uh, complain. I'm gonna pick this card up because I'm a Cardinal fan. The next card will be Jonathan Scoop, second baseman. He can play third and shortstop. Obviously, he's a right handed batter and right handed throw right handed. Uh, Scoop, I don't like his contact because he he batted three forty three this month. And his contact, I think, is a bit lower. I'm surprised he, they even gave him a card, mostly because his, he just got updated to a gold. But anyway, contact versus lefty, uh, righty, my bad, is 83, then lefty's uh, 74. But power, not bad, actually. 84 versus righty, and lefty, 81. So that's not bad. But discipline at 45, vision at 60, clutch at 66. The discipline is a little low. But his fielding is not bad, but his, his speed is, but I don't know how fast scoop really is so i'm not picking this card up obviously but it's not a bad card to go ahead and pick up michael confronto left fielder from the new york mets i think he deserved a card last month but they're gonna go ahead and give it to him this month not a bad card 91 gone tight versus righty 
in 94 versus uh power versus righties. Contact versus lefties very low, but hey, power versus lefties is 75. Uh, fielding ain't bad. Discipline at 80 and a clutch at 60. So this card, if it is not very expensive in the market, I'm going to go ahead and pick up and most because I contact versus righties and con uh, power versus righties. And finally, the last card will be James Paxson. Now, obviously, you got to collect all six cards to get the James Paxson. And I will not be able to show you his stats because I don't have them with like a picture or nothing. But he he went 6-0. and all, And obviously, these are going to be good stats. I can't tell you much about the James Paxson. But he did have a good month. And maybe next Friday because they're not doing a roster update. But they are doing transactions today around 3 o'clock, I'm pretty sure. But they're not doing roster updates until next Friday. But uh, James Paxson, his goal did get updated. My bad. Actually, last Friday, he's an 88 now, I believe. I don't know. I'm not for sure, but a 96 isn't bad. And for collecting all six cards, I think it's well worth it. And it's not going to be hard, I don't really think. Anyway, this is MLB Guy, and I will see you later.